Hello everybody. Um, this is going to be a super quick one compared to what I've been doing lately anyway. Um, I got a package in the mail sometime in the last week or so that I've been waiting on for probably six to eight weeks. It's it been a really long time. Um, the package was coming from China. So, you know, it got held up with all the pandemic stuff and it sat in Indiana for two weeks before it finally arrived. The last time I looked at the, uh, tracking it still said indiana so <laughs> maybe they still think it's there i don't know but anyway i had ordered back i don't know mid-april some bats some little plush bats i don't know what to say about them um they're very cute they're very soft i am a little bit disappointed and I'll show you why. It's a set of bats. There's four different colors. So there's a blue one and a kind of purpley one, which looks like dark gray in the video, or at least on my screen, and a light pink one and a gray one. Now, I, at first, I was a little bit disappointed because I thought they were going to be bigger. But then, you know, when I read centimeters, I don't always imagine the size correctly. And without getting something out and like a ruler or something to actually look at what centimeters look like, I thought these were going to be bigger. So when this little tiny box came and I pulled out four bats, I'm like... Oh, that's not what I thought I was getting. So anyway, here they are. This one, this gray one, you can see how his uh, wings are folded in. Has Velcro on both wings. Keep that in mind. So I can have him wings out or wings closed, right? All four should be like this. Should be. He also has this little hangy string. On him, it looks like a tail, a very long tail. So if I wanted to, I could hang him up, and he could hang upside down, and I could have him hanging upside down with his wings spread if I wanted to. What the hell is that noise? Sounds like a screaming frog. Sometimes it sounds like it's coming from the bedroom, and sometimes it sounds like it's outside. I don't know what it is. And, of course, as soon as I acknowledge it, it stops. So, here's this one. Um, he's probably the best of the bunch, actually. And he's super cute. Look how cute that little face is. He's adorable. And the little poofy ears and the soft... <gasps> so soft. One of the softest plushies I've had in a long time. So then we have the little purple one. Look, Velcro. Look, no Velcro. So that means his wings generally do not stay attached. They're doing it now because I said they don't. But they, it really needs another piece of Velcro, which I can fix. But I shouldn't have to. Because I spent over 40 bucks to get these four bats. And that's because they were on sale... And by buying the group of four, I got an extra 20% off. Then there was a coupon code for another 15% off. So I got them way cheaper than if I would have bought them individually at full price. That's the only reason I'm not sending them back. <clears throat> well, that and their bats. And I love bats. But that that's a major flaw. I mean, how do you only put it on one side? You got it right on the gray one. But you couldn't get it right on the others? What did they do with the other side of the Velcro stuff? And his little hangy loop makes it a male bat because of the location of it. And it's a little short one. So it looks like male parts. Um, I did not buy these bats to have penises. <laughs> Why isn't the little hangy loop 
in the same place, like a tail. Why does it even have a hanging loop? It doesn't really need one. Most things would have the hanging loop at the top, at the at the top of the head. But because they're bats, I guess they figure they're all going to hang upside down. But why would you put it so that it looks like a little penis? I don't know. Anyway, still adorable. I mean, look at that face. It's so cute. Anyway. Pink one, same problem. Only has Velcro on one side. So if I wanted to strap the wings together, they may or may not work. See, this one I'm trying and it's just not staying. This one is also a male. This one's better endowed. It's, it's got a bigger loop. <laughs> Why? Why are the loops between the legs so that they look like penises. I mean, would you seriously hang a bat by its penis? I don't think so. And yet, that's what we're doing here. <sighs> and guess what? Blue one, Velcro, no Velcro. And the blue one's a boy too. So I got three boys and one with a very long tail. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be um, doing a little snipping and getting rid of the hanging loops because that just annoys the crap out of me. Why? Do they not have anybody checking these things? Do they not have quality control at all? I'm a little disappointed, but they are awfully cute. And, you know, it's really minor things. But the fact that, you know, I spent over $40, including shipping, because that extra 15% discount basically knocked off shipping and tax. So, if I wouldn't have had all these discounts and gotten them cheap like that, I would definitely be contacting them being like, hey, look, they're they're crap. They're unacceptable. But they are actually fairly well made. I mean, you know, there's no strings hanging off other than the hanging loops. There's no holes in them that I can see. It's just, they only put half the Velcro on. Did they just say, oh, we have an order, so don't worry about putting the Velcro on? I, I don't get it. I, <sighs> because if you do one of them correctly, why do you screw up the other three? So now I gotta go buy Velcro so I can fix them. The hanging loops are less of an issue. I mean, I just snip those off because I don't want to use them anyway. But it's just the location of them. Um... I don't know. I wasn't planning on having a bunch of boy bats. I, it's kind of funny, actually, but anyway. They're very cute. They're very, very soft. They've been sleeping on my bed for the past week or so. Great, even the one with the Velcro doesn't want to stay Velcroed. All right. <clears throat> so there they are, my four little, my four new friends. I, quite honestly, I don't even remember the name of the company that I ordered them from. It was something that was advertised ah, on uh, Facebook that my sister-in-law said, hey, look at this. These are cute. And I'm like, I want those. And I checked them out. And because of the deal I got, I went ahead and ordered them, and almost two months later, they finally arrived. I still don't know why they were stuck in Indiana for two weeks. <laughs> Indiana's just the next state over. I live in Ohio. Just, you know, 
bring them across the state line. It doesn't take two weeks to drive from wherever it was in Indiana to where I am in Ohio. Matter of fact, you can do it in a day or less. Actually, you can do it in a couple hours. Um, takes roughly, if I go, three and a half hours to get to the state line. Maybe four hours, three and a half to four hours, depending on stops and traffics and things, to get to the state line. And I'm not sure where in Indiana then it would be, but Indiana is long, but and not as wide. You know, it's kind of long and narrow. Um, you can get pretty much anywhere in Indiana then from here, probably six hours, six to eight hours, I would imagine. So, yeah. It could have gotten here in a day from Indiana, but instead it showed us sitting there for two weeks. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. I have another video coming up in just a moment. I have to find the item and film it. Um, it's another one of the tea club ones. So I will do that in just a moment and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring the bell, blah, 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 all that YouTube stuff.